Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel technology and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create your own personal cloud on your Windows computer and access it from anywhere in this world. So you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates. So without wasting your time, let's start the video. So at first you need to open your browser and you have to go to this website is called tonido.com so i will give you this link to my video description so after that you have to click on this for home use free download button from here so now you will get all the version of uh tonido uh download so click on this free download so now here you will get a uh, uh, all the version of Tonido Tonido so uh, you have to download this one and this one is for portable and uh, these two version is for Mac and Linux so I, uh, you have to if you have a Windows operating system like me then you have to download this one so click on free download and after that as you can see it's downloading Tonido Lite setup so you have to wait for some time So now as you can see is download uh, download is completed so click on there and after that you have to uh, install Tonido on your computer so click OK and then next then create a desktop shortcut and then next then install so now it will take some time to installing so you have to wait for some time so now you have to click on finish So now as you can see the the setup unique name with uh, for this computer so you have to register uh, on Tonido so for that you have to you have to put here put your language from here and your name like I will put technology and your your password and retype your password again and here into put your mail ID like I will put technology at the rate gmail.com so now sorry I have done some mistake gmail.com and after that you have to click on create so now as you can see it's showing here this id is already entered please choose another id so that's mean this account name is already already someone put it this account name so i will put one two three okay so let me try once again So now as you can see showing login so you have to copy this url so here is a url as you can see so copy this on notepad okay so after that click on next and it's showing folder and remote access for sharing so mm, make sure that you, you have checked this option is called allow remote access all your for file and folders because without this you cannot access your all those folders and files so after that click on next and here you can add your media files also from here you can choose anything and after that click on next and then close so if you want to access this uh this uh tornado uh, from any uh, any other location then you have to copy this ip which i already copy for on my notepad and now I am going to uh, log in on my uh, VPS. So as you can see, here is my VPS. So I am going to log in. So here it is. So as you can see, so Google Chrome. So now you have to put this URL over there. And let me try it's working or not. So as you can see, it's loading. So maybe it will take some time as you can see yes it's, uh, as you can see successfully loading so uh, I can access anywhere from from this world so uh, 
I have to put my password which, which I already set for this Tonido. So click on login. So as you can see, it's successfully login. So if I will go to my documents from here, as you can see, showing virtual machine. So if I will check on my on my uh, documents, as you can see, the same file is showing on there. So now, if you want to share your file with your friends, then how it's possible? So you know, for that, you need to uh, click on this share files. And after that, you have to click on new share. And after that, you have to select your folder from here, like documents I want to share with my friends. After that, you have to click on this create button. So now you have to copy this URL and you have to send to your friends through Facebook, Gmail, whatever you want. So as you can see, Let me show you once again. So it's working as you can see, it's working properly. I'm able to access my files. So I hope this video will really help for you. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and like button and share button. And if you have any queries or questions, then comments below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.